Good evening. Welcome to Current Affairs. Today is February 17th, 2016. Today's news is that with respect to the president's rule that is present in Arunachal Pradesh. Last week, I discussed with you very elaborately with respect to what is the president's rule, how it is imposed, and what are the reasons why in Arunachal Pradesh, president's rule has been imposed. But today, a decision has been taken by, meaning is simple, as of now, there is a president's rule in Arunachal Pradesh. Today, cabinet headed by the Prime Minister of India, they took a decision to revoke the president's rule. And they sent the recommendation to the president of India. So at any time, it may be announced by the president with respect to revocation of the president's rules. So this is uh, one side of the coin. So the whole crisis, what exactly happened in Arunachal Pradesh, I have already discussed with you. Just a minute. Yeah. So I have already discussed with you. So there is no point in again going back and telling you all these things. Fine. So since you are aware of all these things, let me go ahead. So there was a dissidence in the government. And there were 19 Congress MLAs, government is Congress government. So they started expressing their dissatisfaction against the chief minister and they broke away and they formed a separate group. And those 19 MLAs, Congress rebel MLAs, they have been supported by 11 BJP MLAs plus two more MLAs who are independents. So obviously, if you look at the strength, Strength of Arunachal Pradesh Assembly is 60. For the formation of the government, you require 31, right? Half plus one, you require 31. And today the Congress party does not have 31. But on the other side, the rebel group, the opposition, they have the strength. And what happened day before yesterday, that is on February 15th, the dissident Congress MLA, his name is uh, Kaliko Paul. He approached the governor and requested for allowing that particular group to form the government. And along with him, this Congress party rebel MLAs plus uh, 11 BJP MLAs and two more MLAs who belong to independent independents. So all, all of them have gone to the governor. This happened day before yesterday. And Congress party censored something wrong is going on. Immediately, they have approached the Supreme Court of India. They approached Supreme Court of India and Congress party requested the Supreme Court to, to give directions to the governor of Arunachal Pradesh not to, to allow for the formation of the government. Because the whole story with respect to President's rule, everything is there in front of the Supreme Court. And when the case is present in front of the Supreme Court, how come the governor takes a decision? That's the reason why Congress party requested the Supreme Court to give directions to governor not to allow for the formation of the new government. But today what happened? The Supreme Court of India refused to give any orders. Meaning Supreme Court of India dismissed the petition submitted by the Congress party. Hence, formation of the government in Arunachal Pradesh will become very, very smooth. And immediately after that, what happened? The cabinet headed by the Prime Minister recommended the President of India to revoke the President's rule. A new government will be formed only after removing the President's rule. So all these things have happened very, very fastly. And there was a possibility that within coming one day or two days, there is a possibility of the formation of the government. So this is a mechanism of restoring the so-called the democratic systems. But, but what exactly happened today evening? Today evening, so there was another twist in this. And I was already telling you, some of the MLAs who belong to the Congress party, they were made disqualified. 
they were made disqualified and that case is also present before the supreme court today supreme court directed the high court that is gauhati high court that all the report that that uh, that is related to the disqualified mlas and their information should be submitted to the supreme court by tomorrow and supreme court also issued an order say, 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 saying that till these records are not verified status quo has to be maintained in arunachal pradesh hope you are following me on one side there was a possibility of the formation of the government and the cabinet has already recommended to the president of india and supreme court said that it's a separate case i'm telling you supreme court said that status quo has to be maintained meaning the existing president's rule has to continue till further orders are released by the supreme court of india that's the reason why the rebel congress mlas bjp mlas independent mlas they this is a, this is the very anxious moment for them so they need to wait for some time to get a nod from the supreme court of india is it okay hope you are following this see that these are all the technical issues all this must be decided by the judiciary in fact the government of the day can take a decision but every decision and any decision of the government can be challenged in the court of law so this is what is happening that's the reason why the all the issues that are happening in any state starting from andhra pradesh down to tamil nadu in the south arunachal pradesh to the so called the kerala tamil nadu in the south in every state whatever incident is happening that incident is important for the examination point of view see it in in um, any examination like they may ask you in which of the following states the president's rule has been imposed in the recent past so if that is a question you will be answering very very easily since you are preparing for the civil services examination i want you to be very clear about the procedures what exactly ha happening what is the information that is being sought by the supreme court and what decisions the the supreme court of india is taking based on what conditions what circumstances the supreme court is taking the decisions what should be done more does it mean that the government of india deliberately violated the principle of parliamentary form of government in arunachal pradesh by recommending the president's rule the president's rule was imposed on 26 january 26 january not even one month why are you revoking it it is the time for the government to give all these answers meaning such type of hasty decisions should not be taken by the government last time also i was telling you government of india has been criticized this is really an embarrassing moment to the government of india why do you impose why do you revoke because one reason is this because once president's rule is imposed in any state immediately it will come into effect but this is valid for a maximum period of 2 months just 2 months within 2 months it must be ratified by both lok sabha and rajya sabha with a simple majority then it will continue for another 6 months from the date of passing the resolution what is the problem for the government government there is no doubt it has a majority in the lower house in the lok sabha it will be passed but when it comes to the upper house rajya sabha the government does not have the majority obviously there is so much of opposition to the government on various issues so there is there is a different possibility that it will not be accepted by the rajya sabha and it will become a bigger embarrassment to the government that's the reason why it is moving very strategically in less than one month it has recommended for 
revoking the president's rule. So this is how the government is acting. Every act of government in this particular case will be criticized. Is that okay? And see here, it is not just what happened in Arunachal Pradesh. You should also be in a position to say what should not happen in future. So because you are all, my close friends, you are all the future civil servants. You must know all these things. I am clear. Now let me open the document. And please have a look at the document. You can understand each and every point very easily. Look at this. President's rule. The union cabinet recommended for the revocation of the president's rule in Arunachal Pradesh. This happened a day after the Supreme Court refused to restrain the governor from swearing in a new government in the state. And the central rule was imposed on January 26th. Day before yesterday, that is on February 15, 31 MLAs led by Congress dissident Calico Paul called on the governor to stake a claim for forming the next government in Arunachal Pradesh. He was accompanied by rebel Congress MLAs, BJP MLAs and two independent members. And because of this one, the Congress party had to move the Supreme Court and seeking an order that no new government formation should be permitted and the status quo has to be maintained. But the Supreme Court refused to pass an order, interim order, temporary order. Refused to pass the order restraining the governor from swearing in a new government in Arunachal Pradesh. Is that okay? So here up to this you are clear. So meaning the decks have been cleared so that the government can revoke the president's rule and a new government can be formed up to this particular stage. Is it okay? Up to this particular stage. Hope you got it. But a turn, twist has been taken place now. Look at this. The political crisis in Arunachal Pradesh deepened with the disqualification of 14 rebel Congress MLAs. The Supreme Court on February 17, the today in the evening, has directed Gauhati High Court to furnish the records and the disqualifications by tomorrow. Supreme Court wanted the High Court to furnish all the records with respect to disqualification of these 14 MLAs. And later what happened? See here yesterday, Supreme Court said that we cannot give any interim order we don't want to stop the governor for the formation of the new government. But today evening what happened, the apex court ordered to maintain, to maintain the status quo in the state till it goes through the whole records, which means there would be no formation of government till then. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a big disappointment to the rebel Congress MLAs and also the BJP government at the central level. Am I clear? You have to be thorough with this. Look at this. Posters and slogans in Jadavpur University. This is in West Bengal. What happened? Very recently, we have discussed about the things that are happening in Jawaharlal Nehru University. And the student's leader, Kanaya Kumar, has been arrested and he was placed behind the bars. He is there in the judicial custody. And during our discussion, I already told you these type of things must be curbed immediately. <clears throat> Otherwise, there is every possibility of a spread of this anti-national activities. Sir, whatever Kanhe Kumar has spoken, whether it is anti-national or not will be decided by the judiciary. But whatever the slogans that were raised by a group of people who are covering their faces, they should be considered as anti-nationals. 
that is nothing like waging a war against your own country which is not at all acceptable sedition charges must be filed and they should be taken to the task it happened a week ago and none of the members from that group has been arrested it happened in the heart of delhi delhi is the capital city it, the lots of security is there but still it happened and after that not even a single arrest has been taken place and they have arrested the students leaders kanhaya kumar of course it has to be investigated this is what we are saying but why didn't you arrest the members who raised the slogans against india is it not the failure on the part of the government during the time our during our discussion we expressed our concern that there is a possibility that this will be spreading across same thing happened in jadavpur university yesterday again pro afzal guru slogans they have raised is it not a danger to the nation is it not anti national if we say anti national somebody will get angry if it is not anti national then what you may have certain objections regarding anybody's descendants so there is a platform so there are specific words that can, that can be used and there are specific words that cannot be used how can you say that certain statements against india very very dangerous and on the other side students were beaten today kanhaiya kumar was beaten after the order has been given by the judiciary to provide perfect security to this person so these are all the dangerous things that are happening in the country one must act very swiftly and stern action has to be taken against the culprits anti nationalism is always dangerous unfortunately these are the people who are holding indian passport passports they are the citizens of india and they are fighting for a wrong cause this is nothing but disturbing the whole system and whole society the peace will be disturbed tomorrow hence the highest role has to be played by the government to stop all these activities let's wait and watch what is going to happen but whatever is happening that is not at all good for the nation people should realize government should realize and peace must be established immediately before it spreads further now look at this these are the things happened so now again dopt in the previous class also i was talking to you with respect to do dopt see here once you become the civil servants very frequently you will be getting the orders from dopt department of personnel and training and today morning we have started public administration so during the time i told you already whatever is happening in the indian administration or in any state administration that will become part of our answer in the examination that's our subject so here again the dopt has come so many departments are there one of the important departments under the government of india is the department of personnel and training which is headed by the prime minister himself directly another decision has been taken today which is important for the examination i am talking about exclusively about public administration the remaining people you please know about this one is it okay but especially for people who are preparing with the public administration whatever i am going to say now that you can write in the examination depending on the necessity have a look at this have a look at this the central government today 
eased norms to allow officers to to stay on foreign postings and central deputation for a maximum period of 7 years important one you can stay on foreign postings and central deputation for a maximum period of how many years remember 7 years right now it is 5 years it has been extended to 7 years important so in the examination if the situation is demanding when you are writing about the civil servants or if you are writing something about the DOPT you have to mention this important what is the maximum permissible period now it is 7 years not 5 years look at this it has been decided that if the administrative ministries and other borrowing organizations wish to retain an officer beyond 5 years they may extend tenure of a deputation where absolutely necessary in public interest. So this is one statement you will come across very frequently in public administration. In public interest, you have to mention these words in the examination. Be very, very clear. In the public interest, up to a period not exceeding seven years at a stretch. Not exceeding seven years at a stretch. This is what is said by Department of Personnel and Training. Am I clear? <clears throat> right. So I am coming back onto the screen. Now that's all for today. Tomorrow I am going to talk to you on a particular issue. Only one issue I am going to talk to you tomorrow. And thank you so much for being with me this evening. I wish you all the very, very best. See you tomorrow. Till then, take care. Goodbye and good night.